Figure it out. Hello, this is Adam Carlick with Flying and Eating. Today, let's go somewhere and do something. And make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Good morning. Hey guys, it's Adam here. On today's adventure, uh, we are going down to Atlanta, Georgia. Actually, we had a slight strange itinerary situation here. I was all set up to go this morning. I got almost all the way here to O'Hare, and then I forgot something, and I had to change my flight and turn around and go back home, get said thing, and come back to the airport. I'll give United credit, though. They didn't charge me any sort of change fee or anything. But as a result, we're going down to Houston, Texas first. Okay, all checked in. Uh, let's head over to the uh, clear lane and then get through security and then off to the club lounge because we have a little bit of time on our hands as a result of all this change. Through security, no problems. Uh, heading on over to the club lounge and we'll see what I think the breakfast stuff is still up, so we're probably going to be doing fruit. I know, but we're going to eat real bad in Atlanta, let's be honest. Officially in Houston, Texas, and uh, yeah, we got time to kill, so I'm going to head over to my gate, which is there's a different club lounge over there. I'm in the C section. I have to get over to the E section, uh, and then we'll talk a little bit more. I think this is my first time in Texas this year. It's weird that I can't remember that, but uh, get used to it. There's a lot of Texas stuff coming. There you go. You know you're in Houston because you see Texas Barbecue Smokehouse. Actually, that's more of an Austin thing, but all the same. Good stuff. Hey, Houston's claiming Coca-Cola. Shout out to Atlantic Dave. They're stealing it from you. Atlantic Dave? What are you talking about? Also, you're going to be here in two hours. You know how much I charge for this? We are officially in the club lounge. I've been in this one before. It's actually next to one of the Polaris lounges, which was, you know, obviously much better, but sadly can't go to that today at this time. But all the same, I'm looking forward to some tacos because I'm hungry. I'm just going to assume it's taco time. So, uh, much to my shock, it was pasta. There was like a lemon herb chicken, which I was totally going to get, but it had a ton of olives in it. Olives to me, <laughs> it's like pickles are the devil's cucumbers, olives are the devil's grapes, man. But this, this is solid. So I've got my fruit induced water or enhanced water, whatever you want to call it, an espresso, and oddly enough, chocolate pretzels. But I thought I would take this as a moment to discuss what we're even doing. Why are we going down to Atlanta? Is it just to see Atlanta Dave? Yes, but he's very expensive. His cameos cost me a lot. <laughs> um, but no, I'm joking about that. Uh, but we're going to do a few different things. Um, I was actually invited to come down there to film part of a documentary for video games. So you guys will be able to see that. I'll be in a movie. Um, but on top of that, we're also going to do some of the more obvious Atlanta things. Uh, we may or may not be hitting up a certain presidential library. We'll see. But anyway, there's a lot of stuff going on down there. As I was on the plane from Chicago to Houston, like we hadn't taken off yet in Chicago, my, they told me that my flight from Houston to Atlanta was going to be delayed by an hour. Not a big deal. But they also offered me alternate options if I wanted to try and do something else. So I was like, hmm, let's see what that is, because I was just kind of bored on the plane. And one of the options was to fly back to Chicago from Houston and then get a connection there. That would have given me three segments, but it would have been Chicago to Houston to Chicago to Atlanta. <laughs> If it, time weren't a factor, I actually probably would have done that just for the bonus miles and segments, but... I'm officially back at ATL. I'm in Atlanta. And, uh, so what's the plan? Well... Okay, you all know, Atlanta Dave, everybody's favorite person. Oh my God, the best character ever. Except he's not a character, that's why you guys like him. Okay, to be fair, I'm not a character either, but you get what I'm saying. Anyway, we're gonna hang out. Uh, we're going to a Vietnamese place to get pho because it's open 24 hours, apparently. We're hungry, and that sounds pretty good right now. Okay, everybody, we're out. This crusher bed has returned, Drud has returned, and you already know the superstar. The fan favorite, that's why he's blurred out, sure. can't see him anymore, he's too expensive. I'm no, I'm just kidding. Uh, so we're all getting pho. Where are we? Do you guys remember the name of this place? Uh, I, I love pho. I love pho, master, master pho. It's one of those two. It's kind of both. It should have been spelled like P-H-O-Q, pho, pho, Q. That would have been cool, but that would have been a good name for one. Anyway, so what did everybody get? What do you get here? This is uh, filet mignon and... It's beef. It's beef. <laughs> yeah, I got the filet mignon with a side of rice. I'm gonna dump in there. Brisket. You got brisket. Okay. And then mine has flank in it. Yours has what? Flank. Flank. Okay. Yeah. 
enjoy, and then you've got the same as you've got the same. Yep. So uh, for those who've never had pho, it's got a bunch of rice noodles, meat, soup, broth. The rice is optional; you can dump that in, and then you also get this. You dump in whatever you want. Take you know lime, sprinkle it, and that's it. It's good. Good Vietnamese food. Yeah, heart, that's cute. It is a heart. That's very cute. Or a black heart, like drugs. Yep. yep. Check it out. My heart is dying. <laughs> <laughs> That's a good idea. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> I don't have a heart. <laughs> Apparently. <laughs> Fast forward to 20 years from now when I die of a heart attack as karma. So the squad has broken up. We all kind of came to the same consensus on the food, which was really, really good. Really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was good. It was good pho. Not the best pho I've ever had, but pretty good pho. I think the perk of it, though, is that that place is apparently open 24 hours. Yeah. That's a win. That's an automatic bonus in like suburban-ish Atlanta, yeah. I'll take it. So yeah, recommended in that scenario, I suppose. Good morning, it is day two here in Atlanta, Georgia with the Atlanta Dave. What's up? And uh, we're going somewhere you guys have never seen before. Definitely not on like a previous episode of Kansas City. There's a snooze here. I don't know, we just saw it and I was like, oh, I saw that in Kansas City, it was good. And he was like, oh, well, let's eat there. All right, we're eating there. How's your toast? Good. Yeah. What'd you get? This is, uh, I think it was called the protein omelet or something. It had like bacon, uh, sausage, ham, eggs, got some hash browns here. So. so you went for healthier. I did not. I got the habanero rice with eggs. Really enjoyed it. Uh, it was an omelet full of meat, but that's always a good thing. Yeah. Uh, hash browns I wasn't really a fan of, but hey, pretty good. This food. Yep. Yeah, I liked uh, my habanero rice. That was actually baller. That was way better than the uh, the snooze I had out in Kansas City. I still like the the uh, French toast out there. But as far as savory items go, I got to give the recommendation of that one. And they let me remove the red bell peppers, which is, you know, those are gross. Well, uh, that clearly used to be a Toys R Us. <laughs> what is it called? Poquito? Poquito or something. Okay. What? Documentary time. See, getting all set up here. Dave's super excited for us. Aren't you excited? I'm so fired up. I am so fired up. I'm so, fired. so fired up. So fired up. Dave, what was it like watching me film all this stuff? It's a lot. It's good. Yeah? Very, very interesting. Was it good or did you guys hate it? It was great. It was the best documentary I've ever filmed with you. All right, I'll give you the 20 bucks for off camera. Thank okay, you. You're welcome. Thanks. So now that filming is completed, everybody's going to play Space Jam. Yeah, I, don't ask me why. <laughs> Yeah, we're playing a sports game. <laughs> skip past this. No way, it's probably we're playing space. Right, skip it. Oh, that's uh -oh. right, it's a load screen. Space Jam for the Sega Saturn. This is how us nerds <laughs> celebrate after a hard day of filming. And. Oh my god, please. Uh, <clears throat> software. Presents. Oh my god. Space Jam. Space Jam. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's squad was just selected, so now Steve's gonna have to pick his perfect All right, team. What do we got? Perfect team. This guy? No. Okay, these guys are losers. <laughs> <laughs> I got chips. This so bad. All right. They're the monsters. Uh, that guy. That's Patrick Ewing right, version, yeah, Muggsy Bogues, Larry Johnson, <laughs> Sean Bradley, and. Uh, Wow. Charles Barkley there. They're like, here's zero basketball. What the? <laughs> I think Daffy or, or like some other people might be better than these guys. <laughs> the score inside all the time because the shooting is terrible. So, well, yeah, did you see the movie? That's all they did is just dunk. That's true. That's true. Yeah. In the movie, there's a part where Bugs and Daffy have to go and get Michael Jordan's shorts. They decided to make a mini game out of this. Uh, and you're both there. So Daffy, it's whoever gets... Okay. I think you have to stop him from getting shoes by throwing your little weapons everywhere. Oh, okay. And he has, yeah, see so that? You have to, but he's just collecting all stuff because you're not doing a good job stopping him. And uh, this is the game, everybody. Look at that dog. Man, he's serious. The game has begun. Jordan misses the opening shot. That's not very characteristic. Uh, you see McDonald's logos back there. The... Why are you shooting on your own goal? What the... Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> Free pointers also not. Uh... <laughs> Our game is Jordan's from full court. I oh. Oh. oh man. Oh. Uh, I don't remember how to play this game. Okay. Jordan for three. Nope. I just play every um. Oh whoops. Every uh, basketball game like it's NBA Jam. Oh my 
John, please. Just leave <laughs> <don't even laughs> Come on. Hey! <laughs> There's only nine seconds left in the quarter. <laughs> How do I change characters? All right, oh, game is yeah. tied with two oh, seconds oh, left. Oh, oh, so close. <laughs> the uh, the game has decided we're not allowed to play it anymore. It just killed itself, and <laughs> oh well. Uh, it, it ends in a tie, so never neither done? of you lost. Are we done? I guess so. I guess okay. we, oh, thank you. Right. Each scored yeah. one basket. Well done. One basket. So after a day of filming a movie, as well as playing Space Jam and failing to do it, the Atlanta Dave and I are going to get Korean food at Jang Su Jang. You have been here before? Yeah. He's been here. I've never been here. Let's go find out what it's like. I'm going with this 46, the roasted non-spicy marinated sliced pork charcoal daije bulgogi. So we got some of the little appetizer bits. I know that's soup. I know that's a potato. We got some kimchi. I think that's an egg thing. I don't recognize what green things are. He doesn't seem to know either. No, we don't know. So then there's just, uh, that looks like almost like a pickle, so we're not doing that. I genuinely don't know. No idea. I wanted to say pineapple, but that's obviously wrong. Anyway, good luck. I think it's egg thing. Oh, nice. Egg thing. Egg that's the official name. Very good. Our food has arrived and is bubbling. Yeah, I like that. You excited? Yeah, well, go ahead. I mean, it's going to be really hot, obviously, but yeah. <laughs> when you're ready, go ahead. Pretty good. I really enjoyed it. Yeah, it was really good meat. Uh, good white rice. The appetizers were good. The spicy potato. I liked it. Yeah. I liked it. I don't know. Uh, I wouldn't have said, you know, Atlanta's like the place for Korean barbecue, but what the hell? You know, it was good. Let's yeah. do it. Let's just get... And in the future, we'll get even more Korean barbecue. We've been doing nothing but Asian food so far. Yeah. Well, okay, not for breakfast, you, like, but... People, people sleep on it, but Atlanta has a very big uh, Korean population, so... And Vietnamese uh, population, Vietnamese right? Vietnamese population, so a lot of good stuff here. Makes sense. Good morning. It is day, I think, three here in Atlanta. Is it? Is I there... think it's day three I now. Because I got here two days yeah, okay, ago. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah day three. Wow, that was. I know, it does. Uh, so we're going to go out and get breakfast, uh, and he's brought me to this local place. I think it's that. It's called Chick-fil-A, right? That's what you yeah, want me to eat? pretty good. <laughs> No, what are we actually doing? Uh, we're at a place called Flying Biscuit. It's a, it's a chain, but it's based here, I think. But Flying Biscuit. Yeah, this was yeah. Drud approved. You guys saw over at the Vietnamese place. So, Drud, please don't let us down. I know you won't. We're off to a good start. It just has random peaches on the table. So, Georgia approved? Uh, approved. Okay, well, let's see how the food goes. The peaches were a sign. I have to do this. It's Georgia as hell. Food has arrived. What happened here? Yeah, they just, they just dumped a lot of gravy on it. So, this is a... Uh... Underneath that, there's biscuits and uh, some scrambled eggs, and we got some sausage gravy on it, and we'll get some breakfast potatoes, too. You swapped out the grits for the breakfast potatoes. Yeah, I mean, I, I'm kind of iffy on grits. That's so totally I don't, fine. I, don't, I, don't know. I like grits, so we have mine over here. We got a biscuit, we got eggs, we have that sausage, um, chicken sausage, we have grits. I actually don't know what this is. Hi, um, and then this is my uh, Georgia style waffles with peaches and I gotta tell you while I was filming your footage I could smell it wafting and it was amazing. We have a small update. This is cranberry apple butter so that's good and I was brought some syrup so let's let's get the beaties. We just left Flying Biscuit. What'd you think? Really really good. Yeah I gotta say that was a lot better than Snooze. Absolutely. It was very good. Uh, my peach waffle was Solid. I put the uh, the butter, the cranberry butter, apple jam, whatever, on that. That was good. Whipped cream, sh you know, syrup. I know I don't need that. I understand, but I don't care. It happened anyway. Um, yeah. Overall, solid breakfast experience. Recommended. Anything Absolutely else? Absolutely recommended. Yeah. Uh, wow. It's really, really good. Good job, Drud. Yeah. Well done, Drud. So we're actually here at the Jimmy Carter Presidential Library, and there's like an event going on today. Look, it's a farmers market, and health food boy over here wants to get some actual. Well, maybe. We'll see. What, what are I'm, you looking for? I want to look around. Not really, not, not particularly anything. What's that um, vegetation? What are those things you like? It starts with a V. If you're, if you're looking for vegetable, I don't really That's like, what I'm talking I about. Really like vegetables. So oh, okay. That's yeah. weird. Or it's not. I don't know. Anyway, go buy... buy you want that dog? I mean, I love dogs, but I'm not going to buy one. Oh, all right. You guys heard he hates dogs. Yeah, this is a cool little bonus. You obviously have Georgia peach trucks and uh, fruits. I smell the coffee. I'm digging this. Although there's massive lines for everything because everybody's out getting the quick hand foods like pastries and stuff. Okay guys, it is dinner time and we have decided to get what type of food? 
uh, Cuban. Yeah, we are at Havana Sandwich Shop. Uh, I guess the dude just wanted Cuban. I mean, we're going for Puerto it. Close enough. No. no! I'm just kidding. So we've sat down. We're waiting for our food. Uh, I got a strawberry Haritos. I haven't had one of those in forever. And you got this really rare thing okay. called Coke Zero. Now, can you tell us about Coke Zero? Yes, it is a... Uh, I don't really. I'm not yeah. serious. <laughs> so here's my food. I have a steak with various vegetation, uh, sauce, beans specifically. We got rice. And I'm not entirely certain what this is. The beans. This is the beans? Probably. Then what's that? Ah, well then, we'll find out. I got a pan con lechon, so it's like a... Oh, pork, lechon. The, the pork and uh, onion sandwich. Basically. Yeah, you and Sunshine just eat the lechon wherever you go. Yeah, the lechon was good. It's very similar to what we have in, uh, in Filipino dishes, so yeah, it was good. Lechon is so good. Yeah, he has a big Filipino thing, but obviously there's a Spanish influence, so Cubans did it too. So we just came out of there. What did you think of your Cuban steak it was, it was, sandwich? It's pretty good. Really enjoyed it. It, it. They got the rice correct, which is a very obviously they got the rice correct, which is what I care about. The most. I gotta stress this. He is super passionate about rice. Absolutely. Can you tell them a little bit about this? Yeah. So sometimes you go to places and you can just tell that the rice is off, and I can't really explain why. It's probably because it's too dry. But like, yeah, I mean, you go. It's very very authentic experience. Um, as a Puerto Rican myself, I I'm very well versed in Hispanic food, so I I approve. He approves. Now, I will say, I also approved. I enjoyed the food I had. I will disagree on the it's authentic thing because it's Cuba, okay, not Puerto Rico. I mean, yeah. And I've been to Cuba, and this is way better than anything you're going to have in Cuba. <laughs> so this is a good thing. This is one of the cultures where the Cuban food you get outside of Cuba is better than the actual Cuban food. You know what I'm saying? Like, I wouldn't do British food in general, but I wouldn't do it outside of the UK. Just an unintentional you dig at the UK. I also didn't know that... Uh... Sometimes we serve uh, beans on the side. Yeah, I didn't know what that was. I thought that was a soup. For all the times, all the places I've been, I've never seen beans presented to me in a broth. Amateur. Amateur, I agree, but we, we did do it. We got it. Made it happen. Recommended. <laughs> And that'll do it for part one. Thank you so much for watching. Please stay tuned to part two in which we actually do a whole bunch of stuff. We're not only going to eat, we're also going to go to the FDR Little White House in Warm Springs, Georgia, which is very, very cool. Uh, and then, of course, we'll eat more stuff and then, you know, on to the adventure back home. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. If you guys could do me a favor, please like this video, comment down below, subscribe if you've never done that before, as well as check out all the social media stuff in the description, Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Discord, Patreon, Spreadshirt, etc. I appreciate the support. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you all later.